Hi guys, today we are going to be doing a very classic get ready with me video. I've actually been receiving quite a few comments from you guys saying that you miss the old makeup videos, which I don't know if makeup tutorials necessarily are ever going to come back, but you know, I love a good old get ready with me. I have a bunch of new cute clothes from Lulu's that I want to try on for you guys. So thank you to them for sponsoring today's video. But I have a whole new spring summertime makeup routine that I'm excited to show you guys. I also want to give you guys some life updates. I feel like we have a few things to catch up on. So let's just get started. I'm going to start off with the Say Star Glow primer I think it is. So I've been mixing this with the Drunk Elephant um, bronzing drops. I used these so long ago and then I forgot about them and then I just recently rebought them and I really like them a lot. It's nice because this combo just gives a really good base for your makeup. Super glowy and bronzy. Also Dolly is going to be right here this entire time I do my makeup. This is what she does every time I sit down to do my makeup. Okay, first of all, how have you guys been doing? I feel like so much has been going on in everybody's lives lately. I posted on Instagram that so many of my closest friends are either pregnant or just gave birth. And I don't know how that happened. Well, I know how it happened, but I don't know how the timing happened of it. Just like so many people being pregnant at one time. But speaking of pregnancy, I truly thought that I was pregnant the other week. I took three different pregnancy tests because I was convinced I was pregnant because I was 10 days late for my period, which my period is always pretty irregular, but I was convinced, but I wasn't. And then I got my period and that was the first time I was like, oh, I think I would be happy to be pregnant sometime soon because, you know, there was a little bit of that tinge of disappointment, even though we literally aren't trying at all right now. I just thought my gosh is it another surprise baby but it wasn't don't worry i have had quite a few people messaging me and asking me if i'm pregnant um but no i'm not i guess that's maybe how you know you're like starting to feel ready to have a baby is that when you take a pregnancy test and you aren't pregnant there's like that little sense of disappointment because usually when i think i'm pregnant i am like so relieved okay concealer and foundation are on now i'm gonna do a little bit of powder to set it together i do not know how some people do not set their makeup because mine would be gone in like two seconds especially if i didn't set like under my eyes and my chin and t-zone area my makeup would be gone. I actually really do love these little triangle puffs that you can get on Amazon. Um, I think they went viral on TikTok like a few years ago or maybe a year ago. And I bought them and I have not used a powder brush since I got these because they just make your powder go on so nice. Now this has been one of my new favorite products. This is from Makeup by Mario. This is their medium soft sculpt bronzer. I just love this bronzer so much. It's almost like a hybrid between like a cream and a powder because it has like zero fallout at all. Like it doesn't have any of that powdery feeling when you put it on your skin. It just melts right in and it's just so nice. And I also love the color of it so much. Look how much bigger Dolly's gotten. She is such a little angel. I love her so much. She is like the nicest cat I could have ever imagined. After Jelly, I thought, wow, I will never find a cat that is so sweet and so people loving. It's like the little cat best friend that I always wanted. Dolly is her. Okay, is this lighting sketch? Let's see if this is any better. It's kind of a gloomy day, so the lighting is just kind of weird. But, oh, I'm just putting a little bit of that bronzer in my crease and also underneath my eyes a tiny bit. I never thought I would be a cream blush girl. But I am a cream blush girl now. I use cream blush every single day and I absolutely love it. 
I love the one from Patrick Ta still. This is the one I use almost every day. But I have a Rare Beauty one, but I just have not tried it yet. I feel like people make it seem very intimidating, like you have to use the littlest bit, and there's so much pigment, so I'm scared. Now I'm going to do my brows. I'm still loving this Kosas Air Brow Brow Gel. I have no mirror now, so let me just use this. I'm actually wearing just what I wore to the gym, but I didn't even shower because I didn't even barely sweat in my workout because I have a funny story to tell you guys. I was humiliated by myself at the gym. Let's give you a little backstory. So I have been going into the sauna after my workouts for maybe five months now. So I usually work out and then I'll go into the sauna for 20 minutes. And so I saw a girl laying down with her feet up in the sauna and I was like, oh, that seems really nice. So I decided to copy her and the next day I went to the gym worked out, went into the sauna, and put my feet up and laid down. Well, little did I know, that was a very bad idea because after about 15 minutes, I started feeling very lightheaded. And so I got up and walked out of the sauna kind of quickly because I was feeling lightheaded. And I was like, I'm going to go get a smoothie or something from the little cafe. I walk up to the cafe and immediately I'm like, oh no. I had the passing out feeling where your ears start ringing and you kind of start to see stars. And I was in the middle of ordering my smoothie and I just plopped onto the ground. I literally passed out in front of so many people. I was humiliated, guys. I was so embarrassed. I was just apologizing to everybody because I just felt so embarrassed because... I don't know if you've ever passed out, but it is kind of just an embarrassing feeling because you don't even know what just happened. I ended up, you know, regaining consciousness and everyone was so nice and helping me, but really I just wanted to immediately cancel my gym membership and never see any of those people again because I was so embarrassed. Okay, mascara is done and now I'm gonna put on a little bit of lip liner. This is the Too Faced plumping lip liner and this is in the shade cinnamon swell just warning you this actually does make your lips burn so bad and yeah it makes me actually feel hot that's how much it makes your lips feel tingly and actually plumped but the color is so nice and then I'm going to use some of this ColourPop clear lip gloss on top of that Okay, so here is the makeup, and now I'm going to go, <sighs> let me go get my hairbrush and see if I should do my hair or if I can just leave it like this. I very roughly did my hair. I just kind of, honestly, it doesn't even look like I did it because I did it so fast, but I also made myself a matcha, and now it is time to try on some really, really, really cute clothes from Lulu's. They're all right there on Dolly's bed. I got a bunch of cute summery dresses. I'm also very much in the linen mood for the summer. Like I'm just picturing lots of flowy neutral linen sets. So I got one of those as well. So I'm going to try all of these on for you now. You guys can vote below. What are your favorites? We are going to be going back to Florida soon. We don't really have any crazy summer plans, but um, we are definitely going to be doing some beachy things, hopefully. Okay, here is the first dress. I actually might need to lower you guys a little bit. Okay, something about Lulu's is that I end up liking the clothes in person even more than I thought I would by seeing them online. Like, they always come in the mail and they're just even better in real life, which I feel like is rare when you're online shopping, so... That is something that I really love about Lulu's is like everything is just as good or even better than it looks online. I've actually been loving red lately, which is not typical of me. I'm usually like a neutrals girl, but I love this dress. It is so cute, so summery, and one of those dresses that you can just throw on super easily and style really easily as well. Okay, I love this so much more than I was expecting. This is a bright pink jumpsuit. 
So it was a little bit of a risk, I must say, but I love it so much. The fit is so cute. The color pink is so cute. It's a summertime moment. Let me show you the full outfit. It just fits so nice. Like it's that loose fit because I don't want something like this to be tight like around my legs. It's like a perfect fit. You can actually cinch it right here at the waist as well. And I love this. Is she going to paint a chicken coop or is she going to brunch with her friends? She could do either. I don't know if you guys are ready for this one. This might be my favorite thing I've ever gotten from Lulu's. I am in love. Let me show you. I put my hair up and here is what this outfit looks like all together. I also put on some really cute little heels to kind of show you the whole vibe. This is like my ideal fancy-ish outfit. Just something that looks so effortless but also it's classy, but it's special. I just think this is so pretty, so feminine and delicate. I love. I also got some really cute new PJs from Lulu, so I wanted to try these on as well. This really feels like a huge improvement to all of the pajamas I currently wear, which is just huge oversized t-shirts. So this, I will be going to bed actually feeling very cute. I love this satiny pink material and it has like little monstera leaves on it that you can't really see, but it just adds an extra bit of detail that I love. And so, yeah, these are gonna be my go-to new favorite pajamas. It wouldn't be a vacay haul if I didn't have a couple swimsuits to show you. So here is the first one and I love it. This is actually so, so comfortable and it also has very good butt coverage, which I appreciate. I don't love my whole butt hanging out. So I appreciate the cut of these bottoms very much. I love the top. I love the black and white like color blocking situation, but it's also reminding me how much I need to put on a little bit of self tanner because my body has not seen the sun in a long time. Okay, so here is the next swimsuit. It's actually a one piece that I just threw these linen pants that are also from Lulu's um, over. The swimsuit is so interesting and I feel like it looked so intimidating to put on, but it was actually very easy to put on. Here's what the back looks like. Here's what this little linen top looks like with these linen pants. I love this and it also just shows how versatile this top is and these pants are. They go with so much and even together. It is just such a cute summer vacay vibe outfit. I love, 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 love. Okay, I threw the pink jumpsuit back on because I feel like this is the vibe for the rest of my day. I'm just gonna be going to run errands, cooking dinner at home, nothing too crazy. Just want something very comfy, but this is still so cute. Like I just feel like a cutie in this jumpsuit. If you guys are shopping for some really affordable, cute vacay looks or summer looks, I would highly recommend Lulu's. I will have everything that I tried on down below. I also have a code for you guys if you want to shop. You can use my code Kristen20 for 20% off site-wide. And that code is available for the next 30 days with your first purchase only. And you guys can see the site for the full terms. But again, I'm going to have everything linked down below so it's super easy for you guys to shop. And again, thank you to Lulu's for sponsoring today's video. But I love you guys. I hope Hope that you enjoyed this video if you want to see more get ready with me. I have the hiccups if you want to see more get ready with me type videos let me know down below also you can comment what your, what your favorite outfit was from this video you guys can give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed don't forget to subscribe for many more videos on my channel and I love I love you guys and I will see you very soon bye oh my gosh